tell me a bit about the composition. Well, the composition is, is still open and changing, uh, and that's something that I decided when I came here to the beach. Uh, usually when I paint, I just start with a figure, and then I develop some sort of space around them. Um, this is pretty much the same thing, except much more complex. I did start generally with the rocks and the water around, uh, and then, you know, I've slowly just been dropping people in and trying to decide uh, what I need to do to make the composition work, um, setting up various rhythms, moving people around. Uh, this guy over here, uh, I started painting him over on the right-hand panel, or left-hand panel, moved him to the right panel, uh, and now I'm going to move him down to here. You can see I've got a little bit of a tracing of him right in there, um, because he just doesn't fit the scale. And I also like having one figure that pushes out into the viewer's space as well. And that gives me a whole lot of room to make a series of bodies. I really want to just fill this whole beach up with bodies and have as many of these just really beautiful people on the beach as I can. across the island in search of two meters by one five three centimeters of Corfiat sailcloth to stretch the fourth and final panel. would be perfect, although I'm not sure if it's long enough. How long is it? It's at 153. 153. <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly the size I need. Uh, I've got what I need to start the fourth panel, and uh, while Pietro is putting the stretcher frame together, I'm going down to the beach and have a half afternoon of relaxation time and uh, probably do a little landscape sketch 
uh, that I want to use for the fourth panel. And then I go up tonight and I restretch with Pietro, and I'll be ready to go. I was working, watching out, but not enough. And I was jumping from one balkan to the other to win time for my job. And when I fell down, job was finished. You survive because you want to live. If I wouldn't like to live, I would not survive. It is not to explain how, how you feel that time. But the only thing is what you think is you want to stay alive. And so you do everything uh, automatically. No panic, no nothing. I fly. Just down. <laughs> there was no panic and no nothing. And I am back again. I'm very good back. Mr. White was on the beach, he tells me, a couple of years ago, and uh, just, uh, you know, laying in the sun, and a, uh, a great big hornet comes by and stings him proprio sulla capella. Capella, si dice? Capella. You understand, yes? Yeah, I think. Yes, yes, of course. We won't say this in English because, you know, we don't want to shock the one photo of an old uh, French-speaking man who walks down to the beach every night uh, just before sunset. He comes and takes a swim, sort of stomps around and does some funny sort of quasi-rituals. So I've got a photo of him. He's the only person that I'm painting from a photograph. Um, so I'm going to take the canvases up to my room and work on them there instead of down at the beach today. Uh, this is the worst part of the second leg of the hill. Usually when I come up the hill, I stop down at Elliot's bar, cool off with the first glass of water and then a beer, check internet, and then head back up. This little stretch here is a killer. end of the killer part. So, I'll make it. And so that's really the key to a lot of things in life. You know it's going to be hard, but just do what you have to do. And then, many times, you realize you're working very hard, but you're having lots of fun, and you're setting goals. Like right now, I'm just crossing the finish line. Ah, oh, well, that's the worst part. That's a little easier walk. <clears throat> and I'm not really... I'm not really one for having a concept form the basis of a piece of art. I think it's an idea which is very trendy, but... Uh, I mean, before having a concept, a piece of art is something to look at, something that's fascinating, something that entwines your mind with it, uh, makes your eyeballs dance. And you must make the experience of making art very rich. And if you make that experience very rich, then the art will be very rich as well.